5 HAL TJAS MKII The HAL TJAS MKII is a multi-role light combat fighter aircraft with stealth capabilities. The MK2 is an improvement over LCA Air Force MK1 with higher thrust engine. This aircraft will have improved survivability, maintainability and obsolescence mitigation. Active Electronically Scanned Array, ESA, Radar, Unified Electronic Warfare Suite, UEWS, and Onboard Oxygen Generation System, a box, are some of the state-of-the-art technologies planned to be integrated. The cockpit design has been improved with bigger size, smart multifunction displays, MFD, and smart head-up display, HUD, TJOS MK, 2 will be a 4 plus gen aircraft with tactical strike, air reconnaissance, air defense, and maritime roles which is enough for a light fighter and it can continue up to 2055 till it becomes obsolete. MK-1A is also in development which will get to air before 2020. It will have minor changes as compared to MK-1 and will possess some advanced avionics. It will have no design changes. For Brahmos II or Brahmos Mark II, Brahmos II is a hypersonic cruise missile currently under joint development by Russia and India. It is speculated that it will travel at a speed of Mach 7 and have an operational range of 180 miles. It has the ability to be fired from ships, submarines, aircraft, and land, and is a versatile missile that will strike fast. It will hit with a mighty force to destroy hardened and buried targets such as bunkers and storage facilities. It is scheduled to be ready by 2020. Brimos II will confer on India a major strategic advantage in mountain warfare against China. The missile is designed to select targets hidden behind a mountain range. The hypersonic weapon's immense destructive power will result from kinetic energy. An object striking a target at 6 Mach will generate 36 times the force of an object of the same mass striking the target at 1 Mach. This phenomenon makes hypersonic weapons well suited to attacking hardened or deeply buried targets such as bunkers or nuclear and biological weapon storage facilities. INS Vishal INS Vishal is currently under development and is expected to be commissioned in 2025. It will be nuclear powered, allegedly, and nearly 50% larger than its Vikramaditya aircrafts like the RDO or are expected to operate for the carrier. INS Vishal will be able to accommodate up to 55 aircraft, 35 fixed wing combat aircraft and 20 rotary wing aircraft, launched using a catapult assisted takeoff but arrested recovery. Cataba, aircraft launch system, incorporating US defense contractors General Atomics new electromagnetic aircraft launch system, EMILS, technology, the Innsvishal will be the first non-Western aircraft carrier equipped with the complex Cataba launch capability. Cataba aircraft launch systems put less strain on the airframe of planes during takeoff reducing maintenance cost in the long run and also allows carrier-based aircraft to carry a heavier weapons payload. Furthermore, Cataba launch systems increase the salty rates of carrier air wings by allowing a faster landing and takeoff rate. The Indian Navy's preference for the Cataba aircraft launch system indicates that the new warship will in all likelihood not carry MiG-29K fulcrum fighter jets, the current mainstay of India's naval combat aviation. The INS Vishal will follow her sister vessel, the INS Vikrant into carrier service in the next decade and sport flat top flight deck. 2 Agni VI Agni VI is an intercontinental ballistic missile under development by the DRDO for the use of the Indian Armed Forces. Agni VI will be a four-stage intercontinental ballistic missile. Agni 6 will carry a massive three-ton warhead, thrice the weight of the one-ton warhead that Agni missiles have carried so far. This will allow each Agni 6 missile to launch several nuclear warheads multiple independently targetable re-entry warheads, MIRVs, with each warhead striking a different target. Each warhead, called maneuverable re-entry vehicle, MARV, performs evasive maneuvers while hurtling down towards its target, confusing enemy air defense missiles that are trying to destroy them mid-air, and these maneuverable warheads will give Agni VI an extended range exact figure of which is currently classified. It will be taller than its predecessor Agni V, and is expected to be flight tested by 2017. 
Agni VI missile is likely to carry up to 10 MIRV warheads and will have a strike range of 8,000 km to 12,000 km. A major factor towards greater range would be the weight reduction in the 50-ton Agni 5, as older, heavier subsystems are replaced by lighter, more reliable ones, including many made with lightweight composite materials. One HAL AMCA and an FGFA. HAL AMCA is a super maneuverable multi role combat aircraft designed for the air superiority, ground attack, bombing, intercepting, strike, and other types of roles. It combines super cross, stealth, ESA radar, maneuverability, and advanced avionics to overcome and suppress previous generation fighter aircraft along with many ground and maritime defenses. It has state of the art systems flight surfaces and controls, and two internal weapons bays which can each carry four air-to-air -air missiles. It also comes armed with a 30mm cannon. The HAL AMCA is expected to have a top speed of Mach 2.5 and be able to operate at an altitude of nearly 60,000 feet. Sukhoi HAL FGFA this fifth generation fighter aircraft, FGFA or prospective multi-role fighter is being developed as a joint venture between Russia and India. It is being designed to compete with the F-22 Raptor and the F-35. It will feature a 30mm cannon to complement its many missiles. The two-man crew fighter can travel at an altitude up to 65,000 feet while reaching speeds of Mach 2.3. IAF is looking for Indian-built FGFA to have nearly 70-80% of components which can be sourced from India with Russian imports limited to less than 20-30% range. IAF reportedly is also asking for better high thrust engines which have better serviceability and also have higher Indian made components.